Under that historic vote in the House to oust George Santos from Congress, his name already removed from the third congressional office door and the locks have been changed. ABC's M. Wynn is live from Washington with the reaction to that vote and what comes next. Good morning, M. Good morning, Ariel. George Santos is now the sixth lawmaker to ever be expelled from the House of Representatives. He's gone over ethics violations, but some are questioning whether that was the right move. In a historic political spectacle, Representative George Santos, embroiled in criminal and ethical investigations, now kicked out of Congress. The former Long Island congressman leaving the Capitol after almost all Democrats and half of Republicans voted to expel him, telling reporters, I no longer have to legal questions. His expulsion came in the wake of a stunning report by the bipartisan House Ethics Committee that found Santos allegedly stole thousands of dollars from his campaign to make payments for rent, vacations, Botox treatments, and even OnlyFans. I think that um, the House uh, overwhelmingly did the right thing. Many lawmakers say voters in New York's 3rd District now get a redo, especially after Santos was caught lying about his education, career and family background during his 2022 campaign. Santos still faces 23 federal crimes, including identity theft and accusations that he used his donors' credit cards to make unauthorized charges. All members of the House Republican leadership voted against expelling Santos, knowing his departure would shrink their majority. Speaker Mike Johnson saying getting rid of a lawmaker who hasn't been criminally convicted would set a dangerous precedent, but many rank-and-file members disagreed. I think the precedent is, is that we're holding members of Congress to a higher standard. Republicans now have just a three-vote majority in the House, making it tougher for Speaker Johnson to pass legislation. And in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul must hold a special election within roughly the next three months to replace Santos. Whit. All right, and win for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.